and welcome by a video tutorial of Magento. My name is Ray Buckman from Girio and today I'm going to show you with this tutorial how to set up a website with MultiSafe Pay. Well, MultiSafe Pay is uh, one of the fastest growing online payment platforms. And uh, as you can see right here, I'm on the website of uh, MultiSafePay.com and I'm going to show you how to use it with Magento. But first of all, it's really important to install uh, the extension. Uh, so from that time on we can configure it and use it for an online payment. So first of all we need to create a test account. Let's go to business, hit this button and on the website we will see over in the section development and downloads uh, we can download our shop plugins. Let's go over there and as you can see we got a whole different scale of uh, different uh, plugins available. Uh, this one is uh, the one we need. Uh, if you want to use a different approach from installing, you also can use the Magento Connect install method, uh, which is on the Magento uh, magentocommerce.com website. And then you can copy and paste the extension key, which is situated right here, and uh, install it from this way. Uh, once you downloaded it, install it, um, and go to the Magento backend website, um, you will see something uh, like this screen looks more familiar. Uh, in the, the, the sales and the payment methods area, we will see an area which is called multi safe pay. Um, but first of all, we need to enable it, uh, set it in a testing mode, uh, because we first we need to test it and uh, later on, uh, if everything is going okay, we can put it to live. Uh, once you created an account over at the multi safe website, Let's go over there, um, over at the download area here, you can also create a test account. And with this test account, uh, you receive an email which uh, applies to merchant ID and the security code. And uh, you need those to go over uh, at this area. The, here it's situated in Dutch, the account ID, but it's also the merchant ID. Fill it in, um, the site ID. The site ID can be created uh, once you are logged into the test account. So let's see. Uh, over here, I'm logged in at the testmergent.multisafepay.com account overview. And once we logged in, uh, we go over to uh, site settings over here. And we will see I created a website with an ID and an ID code. And those uh, numbers, as you can see over here, are um, similar as the ones I filled in over here. So uh, what I've done is, um, as you can see here, uh, is also the ID code and the security code, the name of the description, the web shop, uh, and the interface language, uh, which is possible to choose, uh, the status of the ordering, uh, etc etc if you want to create an uh, auto uh, invoice it's also possible so once this is done uh, the configuration of the test area is okay so what we're going to do is we're going to um, create an order and let's see how that goes i'm um, going to the front end i logged in at the jirio.com website uh, i put something in a basket let's uh, pick jirio by attributes one of our cool new products Hit the download area, create add to cart. Once I logged in, I can immediately go to the checkout procedure. Let's make this happen. I pick over here the multi safe pay area, which is available for the payment methods. Uh, agree with the license, place an order. Then uh, we will switch over, as you can see here, to the test user multi safe pay websites. Uh, what you can do now is we, uh, we create an account. I create a dummy account, but also you can sign up for a new account. And as you can see over here, we got a lot of payment methods which are available at this uh, point. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click ideal. This is a Dutch payment method, which is really popular. And, um, use a, a simulation account user let's let's play uh, the return merchant url that will be okay we're going to be redirected and as you can see the procedure uh, transaction is okay for uh, the amount uh, by using ideal uh, transaction completed and now we can return to the Euro shop store 
and we will receive an email and a message that the order has been received. So um, this is really easy, uh, for instance, um, if you are a, a MageBridge user uh, for the combination between Joomla and Magento, which we are using right now at our own site, so um, then it's really important if you go to the test area uh, that the base URL is uh, your domain name slash shop slash and then return URL is also then uh, jiro.com uh, slash shop so this is the base area and uh, the return URL are also situated in the um, uh, the readme file from uh, the the uh, module uh, but the most important is that this area as you can see over here uh, has to be filled in correctly otherwise there won't be a, a, a nice return uh, to your website and then won't work so um, this is a, a really small tutorial how to create uh, uh, the module uh, from Multisave Pay within Magento and also use it within our own uh, configuration of um, the MageBridge configuration. Well, uh, this is for now. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, my name is Ray Bear from Bogman from Girio. I hope to see you next time at a tutorial of Girio.